Hey everyone, today is September 26, 2023. I wanted to make this quick video explaining how references can cause a bias and make you want to take a trade which uh, can obviously not be a productive one if you only look at references. So as I've said that references are whenever the highs or the lows for that matter if it's going higher, you look at the lows. If it's going lower, you look at the highs. Uh, if those levels, the highs, are at a visual level, that makes it weak, meaning the odds are high that it gets taken out, uh, and so on and so forth. So, like today, we had the B high so close to the open, which was weak. Um, the C high was at that overnight high, uh, low that makes it weak the d at the time when this d high was made it was the half back for the day so it's something to remember right so the d high was weak as you can see the g h high is weak um, so you do have all these weak references on top to add to it i've said that this volume even going today was low and you know we didn't we've been seeing for the past couple of days the selling from such visual levels on the highs but what was different today is like let's open this up this is today is the value the value was always lower so I've said this before the best trades are in the direction of value now it's obviously not easy just as that simple because you get these weak references on top and you're like okay but the value is lower so what do you do even the overnight session if you see it bounced off from the last and settle it started breaking down i started looking at that and i said you know could this be a day where you possibly even have a low value to begin the day but then the value gets overlap or even higher right because that absolutely can. Now that's what's misleading, right? On days like today, where you just see this constant push down. And what's worse is, you also had the cessation of one time framing lower in the F period, which is pretty early. It's at noon. Usually when you see like that, it's expected to be a chop day, but again, it pushed down. So what I'm trying to get is that even though the there were a lot of weak references, low volume down, and you would say that, hey, these, these highs got to be taken out because it's weak, selling from visual levels. Um, that didn't happen today. And honestly, I was, I was confused myself today. And I said, what's going on? But if you see the bigger picture, the trend is down, right? The monthly trend is down. The weekly trend is down your daily trend is down. So the overall market is down. So until there comes a point where you really start seeing some trend reversal on the daily, you still look at your overall value, which is most important. This value was lower today, all day. It's not in overlapping value because if you see the low of the previous day's value, and the high of today's value, it's not overlapping each other. It's not on top of each other. So it's absolutely lower value. So no matter what the market profile chart is telling you with these weak and poor highs, right? You still, best trades are in direction of value. Again, there is not a 100% rule. It absolutely can reverse end of day in the J or KLM period. But today was one of those days where it did not. So watch out for such days. It's the overall trend back of your mind. You know, it's lower on the monthly, the weekly and the daily. So you got to be a bit quick, careful taking longs in, in a market like these. Right. So I just wanted to make this short video uh, and hopefully this was helpful to you. If you guys have any questions, let me know. Take care, guys. Bye-bye.